I'm continuing on with my connector project and in a previous video I replaced a couple of family table generics with instances but I still have four of the generics in my model and I've decided that I don't want to use a size connectors I want to use C size so I put in different panel cutouts but now I need to replace the connectors and the connectors that are currently in the model have assembly constraints and they have a cable routed into them and so let me show you the connector generic model here I have the D38999 the A size one and it's got the imported geometry it's got the entry coordinate system for the cabling. It's got an axis for routing and a couple of component interfaces. When I modeled the C size of the connector, I followed the same modeling. I have the entry coordinate system, the axis for routing, and the same comp component interfaces with the same names. And I did that deliberately because now I'm going to use the replace by unrelated component command. So let's select one of these connectors over here. And just like I did in the other video, I'll hold down the right mouse button and choose replace. And in the dialog box, it thinks that I want to replace by family table like I did before, but the A size connector and the C size connector are not members of the same family table. If I go to the open button, I don't have anything to choose from here. So I'm going to change the radio button to unrelated component. Now I will use the open icon and in the connectors, let me find the C size connector and choose open. And now I'm going to edit the ref table or the reference table. And so this will allow me to specify what in my A size connector corresponds to the same entities in the C size connector. And it shows me a reference pairing table. And in order to place the C size connector in the uh, LRU cabling assembly, I need to pick five different references. But Creo Parametric makes this easy for me because there are a bunch of evaluation rules that I can use. For example, if the objects have the same component interfaces or features have the same name, same history, same parameters, or same ID. When I click the evaluate button, well, it matched up two of them based on same name and three of the other references based on the component interface. So I can click OK and OK, and the connector is in the model with the C size instead of the previous A size. And there you can see the C size over there. I'm going to do one other replacement to show you what to do in case your entities don't match up. I'm going to do a manual pairing. So again, let's use the replace command and I'm going to do by unrelated component. Let's use the open icon to sec select that same C size shell and choose edit reference table. And pretending that I'm, you know, let's say I hit the evaluate button and stuff did not match up. Well, first off, it wants to know, hey, what corresponds to the entry coordinate system in the other part? I can turn on my coordinate system display inside the small window here. Then all I need to do is pick that entry there, or you could expand the model tree on the right hand side and pick it out of there. So there we have our first entity matched up. Next up for the rear mount. Well, what corresponds to the rear mount component interface? Let me go to the footer interfaces and pick rear mount over here. Then for this particular surface, I can pick the surface over here. There's also a green diamond and you can grab that green diamond in order to link it up, but you don't need to do that. You can just pick the corresponding geometry. All right, the surface corresponding to that surface over there. And the fifth and final reference, let's pick this flat planar surface up over here. So now I will click OK and OK. And now we have the 
component replaced using manual pairing. So that shows you how to replace by unrelated component. I hope you like this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.